Okay, so we've got this set up with our textures and collisions and our sockets. So we're pretty much done with our animation set editor. So let's close that. So what I want to do now is I want to create a physics asset for the skeletal mesh. So I select the skeletal mesh, right click it, and look for where it says create new physics asset. Just go with the standard names, it should be fine. You can get rid of the zero one here if you so like feel like it, but I'll just leave it in. Just go OK and OK. So here you have the basic physics asset set up. If you press play, you can see how it all sort of works. But it's falling apart. Sweet. We don't want to have this complicated physics asset because uh, we're going to use per poly uh, collision anyway. But the physics asset is basically used to determine the overall weight of the vehicle. Anyway, on the right hand side here, I'm going to go through and start deleting out these basic uh, shapes that are used for collision. So just hitting delete on the keyboard, delete them one at a time, or you can go up here and delete them through here also. So the keyboard's probably easier. Like so. And I'm going to select the root bone. And I'm going to create a new collision model for it by selecting this cube here. And you'll get two being created, the box zero and box one. So I'm just going to do a box one first. But the objective of this is to sort of scale it to fit the rear of the vehicle. So go into the scale tool here. So sort of start shrinking it down. Okay, and go to my move tool. It should be nice. And select my next box. Bring this out, and you can see actually it's very very small. So just position it at the front here. And I'm going to rotate it roughly oops, 90 degrees, like so. And I'm going to scale it up. It appears that I rotated it upside down. Not so precise. Of course, you can add exact values in there, but this should do for now. And I'm just sort of doing it like that, so you have sort of a pointed nose to the vehicle. Okay, that should do. Rough, but it will work. So that is your physics asset set up. So we can close that window. So I'm just going to save it. Okay, and you can see how it's popped into my vehicles now. That's where I saved it in the folder structure. Alright, so now we need to set up the animation tree. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go into my animation tree. So new animation tree. So I'm just going to call it animation tree AT. I'm going to call it shoot uh, race car I want. Okay. Alright, so this is our uh, window here. I need to open up my preview here on the left hand side and bring this over. So, what we want to do is we we'll want to load in our, uh, into our viewport here our mesh we're going to be dealing with. So, you double click or we'll click on the animation tree node here and it will highlight in yellow. Uh, what we're going to do is open up our <clears throat> animation tree flyer. Look for the one that's preview mesh list here. Very good idea if we go in and select our skeletal mesh here first. So it's highlighted yellow. And preview mesh list, go over and create one, like so. Open this up, and we're going to hook it up 
with our green arrow here and it will load in our mesh like so very sweet okay so let's start setting it up so we want to set up the four wheels and we want to set up the four suspension uh, axles okay so I'm going to right click animation tree and add a skeletal chain so what I'm going to add first are the tires so back right okay Uh, back left, front left, and front right. Okay, so we'll do it for the tires first. So what I want to plug in here is a a wheel control. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to look for a new skeletal control. Uh, I'm going to go to single bone. Oops, I'm on the wrong area. That should be right. Skeletal control and single bone. Oh, skeletal control wheel. There it is. And what you get is this node, like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up its output into the input of my back right tire and my vehicle or my wheel roll axis axis needs to change. I oriented them on Y, if you recall it from 3ds Max. And also my wheel displacement here. You can see if you move it, get some values. So I'll put in 20 for example. You can see the wheel move. Okay. So this is your wheel displacement and how it works, but our max render displacement we should change this to 15 because we don't want it to move so far. So the maximum displacement for it will be about 15. So this is basically how far your suspension will move for stopping. Okay, and we want to give it a name. So controller name. This is basically to hook it up with code. So this is going to be called back, right, tire. And I'm going to go control C R C T R L. This is important because this is, will be plugged into code later on. All right, so we've got the first one set up. So instead of creating that each time, what we can do is basically copy and then paste, or we can do control C, control V, and hook it up to the next wheels like so. And all we need to do is just change the name. Okay, let's go for the next one. I could just paste again. I need to copy, hook it up. This would be my front left this time. And paste again. Whoops. Okay, that's not what I wanted. It's better. Paste. Hook up the last one. This is front right. Okay, so it's all set up for code. So just gonna move them up. Oops. Out of the way. Okay, now I want to look at the axle or the suspension. So I'm gonna add a new skeletal chain now. This time I'm gonna add my axles. Uh, add in the root bone for anything because it's not used. And finally, my front right axle like so. Okay, now I want to create a skeletal control. This time I'm just going to be using a skeletal control look at. Alright, so I'm just going to hook that straight up to my back left axle.